back is eye hooks. Now the reason we love eye hooks is because in our wooden ceiling, we can actually screw the eye hooks in and then hang clothes on it. So whether we just got back from the beach and we want to dry out our swimsuits, or maybe it's winter time and we'd wash some clothes that can't get put in the dryer and we need to dry them out, we just hang them in the van wherever they need to hang and they'll dry out inside the van. So eye hooks that you can put anywhere are a great solution. So you're driving along, you're having a nice time on your holidays in Scotland, you've had a shower, you've washed the dishes and now you realise that your grey water tank is full. Picture this, it's pissing down outside and you just don't want to get out because it's freezing. So what we've done, we installed a motorised valve. So it's just next to my co-pilot seat and I just flick it one way, it opens up. Obviously, you should be over a grey water tank uh, drainage area. Now, van life hack number 10 is this collapsible coffee mug by Stojo. And the reason why we bought these is because they take almost no space in our storage compared to a normal coffee mug that isn't collapsible. The way it works is pretty simple. You just have to push on the bottom when you want to store it, put the plastic back in and then seal it like this. And when you show up at a Starbucks or when you make your coffee in the morning, you just have to take it out like this, place the plastic like this, give your mug to the person at the restaurant and you can reuse it every day. What's also nice with these is that they're eco-friendly, so we don't have to buy a cup every time we order coffee or tea at a restaurant. We just use these. Is a wolf-wise tent. This puppy has come in handy in more ways than one. This is a great tool to have for privacy, especially when you want to create an outdoor bathroom. It has nice ventilation for the toilet sake and is also able to trap in heat when using the solar shower on a chillier day. You can also use it as a changing room in a busier place. Not only is the extra privacy nice, but the fast and easy setup is awesome. Since the setup is fast, that means it also tears down in no time. It also fits in with the common theme of compact and easy to store. This one might seem pretty obvious if you're a hiker or something like that, but if you're not, having a headlamp is huge. If you ever have any problems at night, it makes it so much easier if you put the headlamp on and then you have both of your hands free to sort of diagnose the problem, see what's going on. I just got these cheap ones off Amazon. They do take batteries. I'm not sure if batteries is better or worse. If you carry extra batteries and the battery dies, you can just put new ones in. The problem is if you don't have batteries, you can't just charge it up. I do think I would like to get a USB rechargeable one, but for right now, I've got lots of batteries and this headlamp works fine. Again, it was just a cheap one. It's probably not the most reliable, but getting a good headlamp, I do think is a must. 